Hey everybody, Curtis here with another pedal board demo for you. This time it is actually my acoustic guitar pedal board, and my acoustic is a Gibson J45 guitar. Um, it's a limited edition with an ebony finish. It has an upgraded Ellerbags Anthem pickup system in it. And I'm going through this pedal board. I want to let you hear kind of the cleanest sound possible. Um, so I'm going to unmute the Session DI, which is going direct into the mains, or in this case, the recording. So I'll just let you listen here quickly. <laughs> So what we have going on on this pedal board is two DI boxes from LR bags and a reverb pedal and a delay pedal. And this is just a power supply to supply, supply power to everything. So my acoustic guitar is coming in right here. I'm actually using this as more of a preamp for the EQ control, the boost, and the tuning functions. Uh, there is an XLR out up here, but I'm not using that. So the guitar comes in here. Then I go out the send into the delay, out of the delay, into the reverb, out of the reverb. Then I return into that effects loop. I'm not using the XLR out, so it actually comes out right here in the quarter inch. And then I go over here to in in the session DI and out with that to the XLR. The reason why is because I love what these two knobs in the session do to the overall guitar sound. And it just makes it sound sweeter and smoother and better. Makes it feel better. Uh, there is a longer demo of the session DI on my YouTube channel. Check it out if you want. Um, it's a very, very cool and useful pedal. Sounds great. I use it a lot. Um, so I'm going to let you hear this multiband compression knob. I'll do it without, and then I'll add it in. I'll do the same for the saturate. And um, so here is uh, just some clean tones again. <laughs> Actually, a big, good bit in. So that is the CompiQ knob, multi-band compression designed specifically for acoustic guitar. It just makes it sound smoother and sweeter and evens out some of those peaks. It just sounds awesome, and I love it. And I'd probably keep it about there. I also add a little bit of the saturate on. This is a little bit more of a subtle effect, almost something you kind of have to feel. When you dig in, you feel a little bit more, but I'll just let you listen quickly. <laughs> So that is a little bit more of a kind of adds a little bit of girth almost to the tone, a little bit of thickness, a little bit of, huh, huh, I don't know. I don't know quite how to explain it, but it adds some awesome. I like it in a little dose. And um, so uh, back to the LR bags. This is a preamp. So I've set these EQs uh, basically for how I like my guitar to sound. Um, and then I have reverb and delay. Typically, I would have reverb on probably more than delay. Um, this is probably a little bit of an exaggerated setting. This is a modulated reverb, uh, the wet reverb from Nunaber, if you're familiar with their products. So I'll just let you hear how that sounds. <laughs> So I'm going to mute that there with the session. That's one of the great functions of it is just being able to mute things. Um, but that reverb trails out nicely, and it's kind of a modulated kind of reverb tone. Um, really nice. They make great stuff. Check them out. This is a delay uh, from Strymon. 
I use digital delay primarily. I just use presets to toggle between uh, different BPMs for different songs going from one song to the next. So I'll just let you listen to what delay sounds like on acoustic guitar. You probably heard it before, uh, but this is kind of how I have it set. <laughs> So there is just a sample of delay on acoustic guitar. Um, one of the other things I kind of like is adding a little bit of uh, shimmer. Um, the uh, shimmer effect in the Immerse is great. And it kind of adds a little bit of almost like a pad. So if you're uh, playing acoustic guitar, um, just doing a sort of a solo gig, that kind of a thing, um, you you know maybe can add uh, some delay to kind of thicken up and add some texture to your sounds. Or you can add uh, a shimmer reverb like this. So. I'll just let you listen to that. And that reverb will kind of trail out nicely, but we will just abruptly mute it. So uh, this is my acoustic guitar pedal board, and uh, I've been using these Eller bags kind of like this for a while and using the effects loop in the venue. And I just really uh, appreciate how both of these DIs, though they can just be a DI on their own, each one of them has an XLR out capability. Um, I like to use the effects loop, kind of keep these effects in that loop, use this and then go into this and it just i uh, really like how it sounds so um gibson j45 um with the anthem pickup system into the lr bags venue for sort of the preamp kind of eq controls and the effects loop and then into the session and out into the mains that's what i do thank you so much for watching like if you like dislike if you absolutely have to i pre i hope you appreciate it i hope you uh enjoyed it um comment dislike if you absolutely must. I'm cool with that. And I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.